In this video, we're going to look at this passage of sperm, looking at an overview of the cross-section of the external male genitalia and its root. Before we start, what would be good is to label the various um, areas first to get a bit of an overview. So the first bit you'll come across is the cross-section of the bladder. Moving on to the prostatic urethra and then the prostate and then the ductus deferens and then the penile urethra the seminal vesicles and finally the membranous urethra now from our previous video we started we looked at a detailed section of the testes all the way into the ductus deferens. Each ductus deferens has a narrow lumen and a thick wall composed mainly of smooth muscle. So the sperm exits from the testes into the ductus deferens where it then passes by and meets uh, the paired seminal vesicles which are sacs which lie lateral to the ductus deferens. And the main function from this, it provides a major component of seminal fluid. Going further along, you will notice that the male urethra is about 20 centimeters long and passes through between the neck of the bladder and the external tip of the penis. The prostatic urethra runs through the prostate. The membranous urethra is a short channel which extends through the sphincter urethra muscle and the membrane. The penile urethra extends to the length of the penis. Much more importantly, you've uh, noticed the prostate, which is composed of a glandular part and divided into right and left lobes. Now, Semen contains fluid and sperm from the testes and secretions from the epididymis, ductus deferens, prostate, seminal vesicles and urethral glands. The average ejaculate is about 3 mil and about which 20% of this is sperm with up to 100 million sperm per mil. The fluid is alkaline to neutralize the acidic vagina and prost prostaglandins to influence the sperm's transit. Now we'll just have a brief summary of the, uh, the nervous supply, which is the best way to remember known as point and shoot. The point is the parasympathetic nervous supply, which causes the smooth muscle of blood vessels to relax leading to vasodilation and erection. In contrast, the sympathetic nervous supply to the smooth muscle of these various areas help empty the secretion at ejaculation. So this completes the journey of spermatozoa from the testes all the way to ejaculation.